Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Weebly and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot recently on my other video. And that is how do you make a website on Weebly quickly with your mobile phone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a website with Weebly on your mobile phone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're just starting a small business and you know that you need a website and Weebly offers a free website through their platform with a couple of restrictions. Whatever the case is, is a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the Weebly app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Weebly app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Weebly app. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, you do need to log into your Weebly account. If you don't have a Weebly account yet, click this get started button and check my video description for the referral code. However, I already have a Weebly account, so I'm going to go ahead and click this login button right here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and log into my Weebly account. Okay, guys, I went ahead and logged into my Weebly account. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to create a website with Weebly on your phone, first you need to click on your account button down here on the bottom right. It looks like a little person icon. Once you click there, in order to create a new website with Weebly, you need to click on this blue button here on the top right called switch site. Okay, so if you already have websites with Weebly like I do, here it will show all the different websites you have listed with Weebly. However, in order to create a new website with Weebly, click on this blue plus button here on the top right. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a website. But the thing is with Weebly, they have a lot of different options. So you can really customize your website how you like it. But I'm just going to show you how to do the basics and that way you can get a website running within a couple of minutes. So you need to answer this question first. Are you going to be selling anything online? So just choose whichever one applies to you. If you're going to be selling stuff online, then you're going to get different features and different options in order to set credit cards on your website. But a lot of people, they usually just want to set up a blog or a business website. So I'm going to click no, I won't. Okay. So here we is going to ask you a couple of questions and that way they can give you the best options for setting up your new website. So first, what kind of website are you going to be setting up? Is it going to be a blog? Is it an events page? Is it just a personal website? Are you going to hold some sort of a portfolio if you're an artist? Are you a small business? And then are you an online store? So are people going to be buying from you online? For this video, I'm going to click business and then choose view themes down here at the bottom. Okay. So just a quick second later, my website loads. So I now have a website on Weebly, which is pretty cool. I didn't have to do anything just clicked a couple of buttons but of course this would not work for your website because you need to personalize it a little bit so the first thing i would do is go ahead and change the name of the website so it says my site just click on there once you do that you want to click on edit okay now i can go ahead and change the name of the website so let's do let's just type in juicy burger okay so now we'll click done and now it's saving okay now the title is juicy burger or whatever the name of your restaurant or business is you can also change the back image so for example if you run a taco place and you're not going to have a burger there you would just click on the image. This is the header image. And then you can click on edit. And then you want to give your Weebly app access to your photos. So click on settings. And then right here, you want to change it to whatever photos you want to share with Weebly. So for me, I'm going to do selected photos, not all of my photos. Okay. Now it brings me back here. So I can just click here, edit, and then I'll just choose one of my photos. So I got this photo right here and I'll just choose that and click done. And now you see the photo has changed. So this is going to carry off to all of your pages. Okay. So there we have it. We're pretty much set up and I also want to let you know that it's pre-populated with separate pages. So if you click on the hamburger menu here on the top left, you can see there are one, two, three, four pages that are already set up. We're just going to edit this one page, but you'll need to go in and edit four of these different pages to your liking. And then next, what you want to do is you want to scroll down and then you need to drag elements here. So you can add pictures, you can add paragraphs, words, titles, and how you do that is you want to scroll to the section you want to edit. So if we want to sec so if we want to edit this section right here, we're right here in the center. And then you want to click on this plus icon right here. And then you want to choose from all of these different options on what you like to add. You can see there are quite a few. So usually you're going to add a title first. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and click on title and then just drag it and just drag it right up to where you want it. So we'll go right here below the food. And then once you're there, just click in there and you can go ahead and type in what you want. So we'll just type in menu today and then click on, if you want to change the format, you can click in here and then highlight it and then bold. So you can use all these little features right here, italic and bold if you want. And then here you can go ahead and format it. So usually a title is going to be in the center. So we'll do that. And you can increase the size of the lettering if you want. And then we'll click on done. 
and then click on done again. So once you've done that and you want to add maybe something else below menu today, click on this plus icon and we'll do maybe a text and just drag it up here. And then here, once again, you can just type in whatever you want to write here. Okay. So we went ahead and typed in something and then same thing. You just keep adding in whatever you like. So we'll click on plus and then just check for whatever you want to add in. So we'll just add in maybe a button right below it. And then we'll type in the button text. So we will do reserve here or reserve now and click on done. And now you can see there's a button there. And if you want to edit it, you can choose where it's going to go. So you can choose the link. So when someone clicks on reserve now, you click here and then you can add in your own URL or you can click on standard page and then maybe locations and then you click on done. And that way, when someone clicks on the button, when the website is live, it's going to bring them to the locations page or it brings them to your Instagram page or whatever it is you want. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and add in a divider underneath it and then click done. And it kind of cleans it up a little bit. And then actually here we can go ahead and maybe center this. It looks a little nicer. Same thing with this. Okay. So that looks pretty good. It looks like a hometown website. And then you want to scroll here to the bottom and then see this is called a footer. So the footer is going to carry you to all different pages. So you're going to double tap here, they say. Now the footer is going to say Weebly or powered by Weebly unless you pay for the service. For me, that doesn't really matter because I usually use Weebly for my clients' websites. However, to get the access to the feature, you do need to upgrade and that way you can add in a footer. If you're going to be using this website on a permanent basis with a lot of different clients, I would recommend it because you can add in a contact form. You can add your phone number. You can add more information about your business on the footer. Now, if we scroll up and like I said, it's already pre-populated with four different pages. However, if you want to add another page, let's say maybe a contact page, all you're going to do is click right here on this page button down here towards the middle. Okay. So here in this section, you can go ahead and click this plus icon and then you can create another name of a page. So you can say maybe reviews and then the image that we uploaded right here with the rice and the bacon, you can choose to add a header or no. So this is the header photo. I like to have that. So I'll click on header and then hide page in menu. So if you have something you don't really want people to have access to, unless you share it with them, then you can go ahead and check this and SEO settings. You definitely want to fill this out as much as possible. So you want to enter the page title, the permanent link, a description of the page, meta words, fill all this stuff out. If you need help with that, be sure to leave me a comment below and I'll try to point you in the right direction. But this is really important because this is what Google, Yahoo, MSN, Bing, all those search engines actually log when they are looking at your website. And once you've already set up that page, then you're going to click on save right here on the middle right in blue. And it's going to process for a quick moment. Okay. So it brings me to this page and you can see it is now an empty page. But if you click on the top left, you can see that the reviews page is now created. So you can continue creating pages. Pages. So if you have a specific page for your employees, a specific page for a contact form, a specific page for your menu, you can create those pages and that way it kind of separates it out. So let me go back over here to the home page. Okay. So here I am back on the home page. Now, if you want to change the order of the pages in your Weebly website that you're making with your mobile phone. You can do that by clicking on this little paper icon once again here on the bottom center. Okay, once you do that, you're going to see the order of the pages. So home menu about locations reviews. But for me, I want to have locations last. So I'm going to click on this little icon here on the top left, three lines with an upward arrow. And then now you can go ahead and drag these pages around however you want. So I like to have locations last. So I'll drag that there. And once you've made that adjustment, click on done and then click on done right here on the right. And now you can see that the layout of the different pages has been placed in a different order. So it might take a little bit for you to kind of arrange it to whatever your liking is. It's kind of like spicy food. Some people like it, some people don't. So just because I lay my website out like this doesn't mean it's going to be best for you. So just take some time to kind of play around with it and make sure that it looks nice to you and the colors and the pictures line up with whatever your mission is. And then once you're finished with all of the pages here on the right, if you decide you want to delete a page, you can do that also by clicking on this page button down here on the bottom center again. Okay. So you're going to see the list of all the pages on your Weebly website. And let's say you want to go ahead and remove one of these pages just because it's outdated or you just don't like the way it lays out. So you can go ahead and click on, let's say reviews. We'll delete this one. Just click on this line. Once you do that, it's going to give you a menu and you're just going to scroll down until you see this red delete button. Now this will not delete your website. It will only delete this one page. If you're sure you want to go ahead and delete it, click on this red delete button. Okay. You're going to get this pop-up asking, confirming that you want to delete this page and the page cannot be restored. Click on delete. Okay. And then the Weebly app is going to refresh and you can see that that page has now been deleted from my website. So in fact, if you just want something really quick, you can go ahead and delete all these other pages and just have a one page website up and running within a few minutes.
So let me click on done. Okay, so this website uh, looks pretty good. And if we're ready to go ahead and publish it, now publish it means that the public can see it. And when they click on the link, they'll be able to see all of everything that we see here. So if you're okay with that and you're finished and you wanna go ahead and publish it, start sending out your website, click on this preview button down here on the bottom right. Okay, so here you can see what my new website is gonna look like on a mobile phone. And then if you wanna see what it looks like if somebody's looking at your website on a computer through Weebly, click on this desktop button here on the top right. And you can see it looks a little bit different just because of the screen size. But if it looks good to you and you want to go ahead and publish your website on Weebly using your phone, click on this blue publish button right here on the top right. Once you do that, you will get the option to go ahead and choose how you want to have the domain. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to make a Weebly website, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.